welcome back to part two of this segment i don't want me to talk too much if you have not watched part one please go and watch part one before you continue here because part one is from row one to row 22 so we are exactly at row 23 and i made a single crochet across down we are working towards our graph gun pattern i want you guys to see this picture so we are exactly at this section where we are going to build a face and then move directly to the nose and other portions so just be happy that because we are going to finish this graph gun procedure very soon and so part two will be mainly um the graph gun procedure so i single crocheted all the way back down and these are my two deep blues i made from row 22 so if i've not watched the part one you have to go back so now we are going to incorporate the um one blue on top of this second blue so i'm going to put my single crochet here but you are not going to yarn over and put through all these two loops you are going to incorporate your next color which is going to be this blue so let me just take my blue yarn to incorporate you yarn over as usual you pull through i've really gone through this basics from row um sorry part one so after that with this loop hiding under make sure it's not really long you just place your very first single crochet here so we are not going to finish off this two because you are going to do a total of only one single crochet for the um, deep blue so now you are going to incorporate your um, green color so you are going to do a total of six so you yarn over and pull through two and now with these two yarns hiding under which is the blue you can just carry along and do your total of six um, six green so one two three four five this is a seat one you are not going to finish off the two you are going to incorporate your white and you are going to do a total of seven for the whites so to incorporate you yarn over and put you all two loops and then you can now either carry it along or you can drop it so i'm going to do a total of seven whites so i'm just going to carry this green along so one two three four five six this is the seventh one i'm not going to finish off the two i'm just going to drop my white and swiftly move to my green and make a total of six greens i'm not going to carry the white under because white does not look nice let me just cut off this so let me just get rid of this so i'm going to make a total of six greens so one two three four five this is a seat one i'm not going to finish off supposed to incorporate the blue instead so yarn over pull through with the blue with this tagged underneath you don't need to carry the green along you are going to make a total of one so insert and then pull through when you have two on the loops you are now going to introduce your dominant color and carry it along so just bring out your blue and then carry it along you know what to do from here you are going to single crochet all the way to the end of the row so you are just going to single crochet all the way with this color and i'll meet you for row 24 I'm just going to single crochet back and then single crochet back across um I'm, i'll show you where to stop i'll place my stitch marker there and then we we'll continue from so guys two. welcome to row 24 for row 24 you are there will be no um incorporation of this deep blue that is the good news about it you are just going to work on your background color and then the green and white so you are now going to incorporate your green at where the stitch marker is which is the very um, first blue we made from the previous row which is in the deep blue that was the only deep blue left so just insert your hook pull through when you have two on the loops this is the last but one when you have two on the loops for your last but one you are going to incorporate your um, um green color so what you are going to do is just take your green and then um yarn over pull through as usual as i've been teaching you so yarn over pull through and then you now can continue you can just drop off this blue and now continue with a total of um, five greens so now remove your stitch marker 
and then do a total of five green so this is the first one so one two three four this is the fifth one we are not going to finish off we are going to incorporate your white so to incorporate your white just take your white like this and then yarn over and pull through as i've been teaching you so you are going to do a total of 10 whites i'm carrying the green along this time so one two three Sorry for that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the tenth one. You're not going to finish off. When you have two loops on the hook, just switch to your green and do a total of six for the greens. So this time I'm going to do a total of six greens. We are not carrying the white along. I've dropped it off and just insert your hook. One, two, three, four, five. The seat one we are not going to finish off. You are going to incorporate your background color. You know what to do. You are just going to do single crochets with this background color to the end of the row. So I'll meet you as row 25 when we are getting to the middle and then we'll continue from there. So for row 25, you are going to um, chain one single crochet as usual towards this section. It's time for you to change the color. You are, this time you are going to incorporate your green on the very first green. That is why I have my stitch marker here. But you are going to stop at the last but one stitch before you incorporate. So this is the last but one. This is the last blue before you go on top of the very first green. So insert your hook, pull through when you have two on the hook. You are now going to incorporate your green so to incorporate your green i have it already here i didn't cut it off so i just swiftly yarn over a pull through if you like you can cut it off it's optional so i'm now going to swiftly remove my stitch marker and put my very first green on top of that place so one so you're supposed to have a total of four this is the first one there's the second one there's the third and there's the fourth so you are not going to finish off the fourth with two loops. You are going to incorporate your white and you are going to do a total of six whites. So yarn over, pull through with a white yarn. And now since you are going to do a total of six whites, you can either drop or send it along. But I'm going to drop this time. I'm going to drop the green this time and do a total of six whites. So one. Sorry. Two, three, four, five. This is a seat one. I'm not going to um, finish off. You are now going to incorporate your yellow again. The yellow you abandoned this time. We are needing it. Yarn over, pull through. You are going to do a total of one yellow. And since you need your white again, I recommend that you carry it along. So I'm going to carry the white along just on one yellow. So insert your hook into the next space. Pull through when you have two loops on the hook. You shift back, you shift back to the um, white. You drop the yellow off just as I did. And then you yarn over and pull through all two loops. Making sure that it's right underneath. You are going to now do a total of six whites. So one, two. three sorry for that three four five and then six you are not going to finish off you are going to incorporate your green and you are going to do a total of four greens so yarn over pull through all two loops and do your total of four On the fourth one as usual when you have two loops you incorporate your background color so you know what to do from here you just take your background color or your blue and then you yarn over and pull through all the two loops and continue with your single crochet rows 
all the way back down and then chain one single crochet back towards the design and i'll meet you at row 26 and show you what to do next for row 26 you are going to incorporate the first green on top of the place where the stitch marker is so i've already placed my white stitch marker on the very first green so for the very last blue or the background color you insert this is the very last blue if you can see clearly you insert you pull through when you have two on the hook you now incorporate your green so you just yarn over with the green and pull through all two loops you can now take off your stitch marker and put your very first green on top of the uh, first green for the previous row so you just insert and pull through make your first single crochet you are supposed to make a total of three greens so this is the very first one there's a second and then this is the third so with the third we are going to leave two loops um lying on its own and then you are going to incorporate your whites you are supposed to do a total of six for the whites so you can just cut off and then you yarn over you pull through this was where i didn't cut off from the previous row don't get confused this was where the white was so i just cut off the white and attach so you can now either carry along the green or you can leave it and incorporate it later but i'm not going to carry it i'm just going to work along with my white i'm going to do a total of six So this is the seat one. You are not going to carry the two loops. You are not going to um, make a single crochet with the two loops lying. You are now going to incorporate your yellow. So just swiftly take your yellow yarn and then yarn over, pull through all two loops. So this time you are going to make a total of three yellows. So this is the very first one. I'm carrying the white along. So one. Here's the second one. The second one is right on top of the very first yellow we did. Two. And there's the third one. So, sorry for that. And then three. So with the third one, we are just going to yarn over with your whites. Drop the yellow. And then do a total of six for the whites. You are not carrying the yellow along, so just go swiftly. Do your total of six. This is the first one. Two, three, four, five. And then this is the seat one. You are not going to make your single crochet. You are just swiftly going to move along and incorporate your green. So you can just swiftly cut off the green from here. And then incorporate from here. Make a total of three greens as we did from the beginning of the graph gun so yarn over pull through and then go along make your first one the second the third you are not going to yarn over and pull through all two loops you are now going to incorporate your background color and then swiftly move along to get to the end of row 26 chain one and start your row 27 when we are getting to the middle i'll show you where exactly to stop and then we we'll continue with the graph gun for row 27 you are going to incorporate your blue black again sorry your deep blue again and this time i'm going to incorporate on the second green for this rule you will not be working with your green the colors you have been, you'll be working with is your background color the blue the deep blue the white and then the yellow so i've made my single crochet across i'm going to make my single crochets my single crochet on the very first green except that i'll be leaving two loops on my hook so when you have two loops on your hook, you are going to incorporate your blue black and you are going to make a total of two blue blacks. Sorry, two deep blues. I always miss this. So yarn over, pull through with the deep blue. You can now release your stitch marker and make your very first single crochet on top of that place. So there's the first one. It's going to be the second. So just swiftly pick up your white. And then, which happens to be here already, so I'm just going to yarn over and pull through this white and then drop the blue and do a total of five whites. So this is the very first one. So one, 
and this is the second two three four this 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 is going to be the fifth one so when you have two loops you are now going to incorporate your yellow it's a little bit further i just cut it off so yarn over put through all two loops and now you are going to make a total of five yellows so you can carry the white along or or you can decide to leave it this time i'm going to carry the white along but it's optional so one two three four this is the fifth one so with two loops um, on your hook you are going to incorporate your white again and make a total of five so just drop this yellow yarn over pull through two and now i'm not going to work along with the yellow i'm just going to drop it off and then make a total of five whites so one two three four five when i have two loops i'm going to incorporate my blue black again so i swiftly cut off from where it was incorporated and then we um, incorporate it here and make a total of two and then continue with my background color so yarn over pull through drop the whites make sure you don't carry it along and then you go ahead and do a total of two so this is the first one this is going to be the second one when you have two loops you incorporate the background color and you know what to do from here you just need to be cut off where the background color was and incorporate from here so yarn over put through all two loops and then do a your total your, your your single crochets all the way back down and chain one and go back along for row 28 so i'll meet you when we are getting to the middle for row 28 and then i'll show you what to do so for row 28 you are going to get rid of yellow you are going to say bye bye to yellow for good yellow is going off and then you are going to work mainly with your background color your deep blue and then white even though we are not working with this green you still have to work with it for the heart portion if you guys let me just take reference we are some we are exactly at this sector so we are working for the deep blues and then the main white and then <laughs> the deep blue so you realize that we're working with deep blue the background which is here the white and then we're working with the green for the heart so there will be greens at some part so I'll not be talking much. I place my stitch marker at the very first blue because we are going to incorporate our very first blue on top of the very first blue. So this is where the stitch marker is. So when you do your last single crochet, make sure that you don't yarn over and pull through. You have two loops lying and then you incorporate your deep blue. So I have my deep blue here. I didn't cut off from the previous one. I just yarn over and pull through all two loops. And now I can remove my stitch marker so that I can continue with it. So I'm going to do a total of two um deep blues so you just go swiftly into the next piece single crochet and then you you go on top of the following when you have two loops you are going to incorporate your white i have my white line from the previous row i just yarn over and pull through i didn't cut it off so it's more prudent for you to not cut it off because it's much more convenient when it's already here and then you yarn over and pull through so this time i'm going to do a total of 15 whites or whatever color you choose so insert your hook this is the first one this is the second the third the fourth the fifth the sixth seven eight nine ten eleven 12 13 14 this is the 15th one so insert your hook pull through when you have two you are going to incorporate back in your blue so you can just cut it off from here like this leaving a little tail and then you yarn over and pull through all two loops sorry yarn over pull through all two loops there's no need for you to carry the white make sure you drop it and do a total of two so this is the first one two blues one and this is the second one when you have two loops you incorporate back your background color so you can just swiftly cut it off leaving some small space and then yarn over pull through so the rest of the row 
of for row 28 is going to be your background color so you just swiftly move along and do a single crochet till you get to the end of the row so just single crochet with this background color chain one and then we'll be back for two, row 29 so when you chain one you go back as usual as I'm, I'm not teaching you i'm just teaching you the graph gun pattern so i'll meet you there so welcome to row 29 i went back with my single crochet we are meeting the design i placed my stitch marker on the very first blue um space because i'm going to incorporate the very first blue on top of the very first for the previous row so we are going to stop at the last but one stitch so insert your hook pull through when you have two loops on the hook just drop it down and incorporate your blue so i have my blue already here which is a little bit close so i'm just going to yarn over and pull through all two loops and now i can remove my stitch marker and continue with my single crochet so i'm going to do a total of two single crochets in the blue shade or in the deep blue shade so insert your hook pull through when this is the first one the second one you're not going to yarn over and pull through you are just going to swiftly incorporate your white so yarn over with the white drop your blue as you can see and yarn over with your height and pull through so you are going to do a total of three whites so i'm going to carry my blue along because in no time i'll be needing the blue or you can just cut off and reattach so insert your hook pull through this is the very first one this is the second one this is the third one so you are not going to yarn over and pull through the two loops making sure you have two loops on the hook you are going to incorporate the blue again so yarn over and pull through all two loops with the blue so we are going to do a total of two blues i'm also going to carry this um color with this white along so this is the first one so one and then there's the second one so with the second one i'm not going to yarn over and pull through i'm just going to yarn over with the white and pull through two and then still having this blue under i'm going to do a total of five whites so one two sorry three four and then and then five so i will yarn over with this blue black and then pull through these two loops and i'm going to do a total of two blues still having the white underneath so one sorry one two so with the second one, I'm just going to yarn over with the white and pull through two. Still having the blue underneath, I'm going to do a total of three whites. So one, two, and then there's a third one, three. So still having two loops on my hook, I'm just going to drop the blue the white sorry and then shift uh, shift to the blue this time i'm not going to carry along my white so yarn over pull through and then i'm going to finish off with a total of two blue so this is the first one and this is the second one still having two loops and uh, i'm just going to swiftly cut off my background color and reattach here and finish up my row chain one and begin the next row so just do this and I'll meet you at row 30, the middle of row 30, where we are going to make changes. So single crochet back and then single chain one and single crochet towards this section. I'll meet so you. So guys, welcome to row 30. I went along with my single crochets and this time we are going to incorporate your green again. We realized that we abandoned the green as time went by from the neckline. So this time we are going to stop at the last but one please. Um, the last but one. For the background so this is the very last place where um the background ends which is the blue the light blue so i place my stitch marker there we are going to incorporate the so we are going to stop here um so just go to the next which is the last but one pull through when you have two on the hook you are now going to incorporate your green color so to incorporate you know what to do you just yarn over and pull through all the two loops so yarn over pull through all the two loops you can now freely release this blue 
and then you are going to do a total of only one green so you can now remove your stitch marker here and then do a total of one realize that the one or uh, the one you, you are not going to finish off so insert your hook pull through when you have two loops on the hook you are now going to incorporate your blue so the deep blue which is a little bit close um the deep blue is closer so i just yarn over i didn't cut it off from the previous row and then i pull through so i'm going to do a total of three blues as i told you you can carry the rest of this strand along from the green so this is the first one so one two and then there's the third one so three you are not going to finish off with two loops um, on the hook and then you are going to do a total of two whites so luckily for us the white is closer by so you yarn over and pull through with the white and do a total of two for the whites i'm carrying the blue along because i'll be needing it very soon so make sure it's tight enough under and then just do your cr your single crochet under so this is the first one for the white this is the second one you are not going to finish off you swiftly incorporate the blue again by yarning over and pulling through the two loops left still having the white under i think my yarn is getting twisted oh my god so still having the white under you are going to do a total of two blues this time so you did two whites the next one is going to be a total of two blues so uh one and then two so the second one with two loops you just yarn over with the white and pull through the two loops left because you are going to incorporate the white again so with the white you are going to do a total of five this time so a total of five whites so this is the first one this is the second oh my god my yarns are getting twisted and then three sorry for that three four this is going to be the fifth one so when you have two loops on the hook you are going to incorporate the blue back so let me just get this right so you are going to incorporate the blue again the deep blue so this time i'm going to do a total of two blues so yarn over with the blue pull through and then still having the white underneath do a total because i'm going to need it again so this is the first blue so one and then two with two loops on the hook you yarn over and do a total of two whites with the whites so this is going to be the first one still carrying the white along because you're going to need the blue again so this is going to be the first one and this is the second one yarn over pull through all two loops with this blue so yarn over pull through all these two loops and then do a total of three blues so on the third one leaving two loops you are going to now finally incorporate your green so you are just going to do the same thing that you did from the beginning so you just yarn over with the green color and pull through the two loops just like that and then with the green still underneath don't make it too extra long because you're just going to make one so with two loops for the green you finally incorporate your background color so let me just cut off and then incorporate my final background color which is the blue so you are going to do your repetition all the way down with the background color which is single crochet all the way down for row 30 so you get to the end of the row you chain one and then you come back again i'll meet you at the middle uh, of row 31 and then i'll show you what to do for the design so for row 31 we are going to incorporate your very first green color on top of the only green we made we are about um, extending our heart so which is the heart of the snowman as you can see it's looking a little bit nice like it's forming out nicely and um, all you need to do is weave in the ends after the project so insert your hook pull through when you have two on the hook 
you yarn over pull through all two loops with this green which i didn't cut off and it became uh, necessary for her this section so i'm not going to carry this color along which is the dominant color i'm just going to leave it and make my very first green uh, stitch so i'm going to make a total of two this time so this is the first one let me now get rid of the stitch marker sorry and then this is the second one so now i'm going to do with two loops on the hook i'm going to incorporate my blue which happens to be here already so it makes it easier for me let me just get rid of this and then yarn over pull through all two loops and after doing that i'm going to do a total of two blues so one sorry one and then two with two loops um, on the hook i'm going to incorporate my white and do a total of six for the white so yarn over pull through drop this i'm going to carry it along though and do a total of i'm going to carry only the deep blue along make sure you don't carry unnecessary colors along so one two three four five this is the seat one <laughs> with two loops on the hook you just swift back to the deep blue and this time we are going to do a total of one blue so still having this yarn underneath you just do one you know yarn over and pull through you just yarn over with the white and pull through all two loops so now you are going to do a total of six whites again still carrying the blue along so let's go along with one two three four sorry four five this is going to be the sixth one with two loops hanging you are now going to incorporate your blue again so you are now going to do a total of two blues so drop the white and then yarn over pull through this time you are not going to carry the white along so just do one and then the second one you are now going to incorporate your green and do a total of two so this time i am going to drop the blue So with the second one with two loops on the hook you are going to incorporate your background color which is the light blue and you finally work your stitches down back and chain one and start your row 32 so i'll meet you at the middle of row 32 and then i'll show you where to stop and then create your design For row 32, you are going to incorporate your green color on the very first green. So I've placed my stitch marker on the very first green. And so the last but one stitch, which is the very last light blue or background color, is when you leave two loops behind to incorporate your green color. So insert your hook when you have two loops on, you just go ahead and incorporate your green. So the green is kind of close by. So I just yarn over and pull through all two loops pull tight i can now drop this off and then work along with my green so i'm going to do a total you can now remove your stitch mark i'm going to do a total of three greens so one two and there's a third one with two loops behind so leave two loops and then you are going to incorporate your blue so the blue is close so i'm just going to yarn over pull through and then go to the next stitch make a total of make one blue and the next you are going to leave two loops behind and this is where your white is you are just going to pull tight and incorporate carrying the blue along which is the deep blue you are going to do a total of four whites so this is the first one so one and then two 
three. That's the fourth one. Four. With two loops behind, you are going to incorporate your 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 blue black uh, your blue back. Sorry. So you are going to do a total of three blues. So yarn over, pull through, and then with the white under, do a total of three blues. So this is the first one, the second, and this is the third one. With two loops. You just yarn over pull through two drop this white uh, sorry blue and then work make a total of four whites so one two three this is the fourth one with two loops behind you are going to incorporate your blue black your blue back so you just drop your whites and do a total of two blues so you just yarn over pull through and then do a total of two so this is the first one there's a second one with two loops behind you are going to incorporate your green color like how we just did so let me just cut it off from here leaving a little bit till including the background color as well and then yarn over pull through two with my green color it's really confusing me with my background color so yarn over pull through two you are not sending this blue along you don't need it any longer you just make your very first single crochet you are supposed to do a total of three so this is the first one one and there's the second one still having your excess yarn under there's a third with two loops lying just incorporate back your blue so yarn over pull through and now you can make your single crochet rows in your background color sorry single crochet you can finish up your single crochet row for 32 chain one go back for 33 and i'll meet you at the middle as we form this design for row 33 you are going to incorporate your green color on the second stitch so you realize that I've gone back with my single crochet um, in the light blue color. These are the three single crochets we made from the previous rows. You are going to put a single crochet on top. But this time you have two loops on the hook. And then you are going to incorporate your green. So you yarn over and pull through all two loops. So now... You are going to do your very first single crochet on this green stitch, which is the second green stitch. So, one. I was supposed to do a total of three greens. So, one, two, and then there's the third one. Three. With two loops leaving, you are going to incorporate your blue. And this time, I'm going to do a total of 13 blues. So yarn over pull through the good news for this um row 33 is that you are not going to work with your white again so you can now freely cut off and then continue with your total of 13 blues so i'm carrying the um, green along this time So this is the 13th um, blue. I'm not going to finish up with the two loops. I'm just going to incorporate my green and make a total of three greens. So one, two, and then there's the third one. So with two loops, I'm going to finally incorporate my background color by cutting it off this side, leaving some small strands to weave in later. And then yarn over and pull through all two loops i don't know what this white wants with me so i'm now going to carry along the excess yarn towards the side and do my single crochet till i get to the end of the row chain one and work back for row 34 so i'll meet you for the middle of row 34 as we extend the hats 
of the snowman for row 34 you are going to incorporate your green on the very first green so you are going to stop exactly at the last um, blue which is the light blue so insert your hook pull through when you have two loops on the hook yarn over and pull through with this green which I didn't cut off from the previous row so I'm going to directly yarn over and pull through all two loops and then make a total of five greens so you can now release your stitch marker off and then also drop this blue off and do a total of five greens so this is going to be the first one so one two three four five so with two loops as usual as i've been teaching you all this while well, with two loops lying you are going to yarn over and pull through with your deep blue and make a total of nine blues so swiftly yarn over pull through and make a total of nine blues so you can just carry this green along or you can cut and reattach but i'm going to carry mine along and work my total of nine blues so this is the very first one, two, three, four, five, six, my yarn is getting a little bit stranded here, seven, eight and there's the ninth one with two loops you swiftly drop this and then yarn over pull through all two loops this time you are going to do a total of five greens again like how we did here you are going to drop off this blue because you are not going to need it again and then work your five greens so go into the next stitch one two three four this is the fifth one with two loops you swiftly cut off your background color from here and incorporate so these rows are like the best they are easy to work they are just working with three colors and makes it easier so yarn over pull through and then make, work your single crochet to the end for row 34 i'll meet you get um at the uh, middle of row 35 as I said you always chain one go back again I'll meet you at the middle as we are proceeding with the design so welcome to row 35 for row 35 you are going to work with only two colors which is the background color and the green color so this is the section where you get rid of your deep blue so just cut off leaving a little bit till to weave in later we have a lot of yarns to weave in after this project but you don't have to worry um, it's not that difficult so from the beginning i realized i just played my video and i realized that i said this section was up to row 41 but it's actually up to row 47 so i apologize for that but i'm going to edit so i would be putting that inside so you guys know so this time we are going to work with your green and you are going to incorporate your green color on the very first green so as i told you i'm going to stop at the last but one so this is the last but one which happens to be the last stitch for the light blue so insert your hook pull through when you have two loops on the hook i'm going to yarn over with this green pull through all two loops you can decide to carry this green along so that it becomes convenient for you or you can just drop it and cut it off which i'm going to do but it won't really show because the colors is not white you see white makes things obvious so you can just carry it along so i'm going to make a total of 19 greens so let me just swiftly remove my stitch marker and then swiftly work my 19 greens this row is like superb <laughs> just work with two colors so three four five so work along your 19 and i'll meet you somewhere here make sure you make a total of 19 single crochets with this shade so I made my total of 19 greens and I have two, this is the 19th one, make sure you have your two loops to incorporate 
your background color so i'm just going to sweetly cut it off and then incorporate my background color which is the light blue so uh, you can see that the heart is forming from here and it's a good thing because like you are going to see the full effect of this graph gun very soon so make sure you single crochet all the way to the end of the row chain one and then work back and forth as we solely work on our heart area because our face and body and scarf is done we are working on the heart area which is mainly green so i'll meet you at row 36 the middle of row 36 and i'll show you where to incorporate your color so come to row 36 for row 36 you are going to incorporate on the very first green so um as usual you stop at the last with two loops you stop at the last background color with two loops and then you swiftly shift to your green color and then you are going to do a total of 18 greens so i'm going to remove my stitch marker make sure you place 18 single crochets across um to you get somewhere here i don't know but just make sure you place 18 single crochets so I'll meet you when you are done with your total of 18 single crochets with green. So I'm done with my 18 single crochets in green across. This is the 18th one. So you are supposed to leave two loops lying on the hook and then you incorporate your background color by yarning over and pulling through with your light blue or any color you choose. So I'm going to single crochet all the way back down, chain one and then single crochet towards the side as we work the stitches. I'll meet you at row 37. So the row, row um, from row, this row, which is row 35 to the 47 is going to be two colors, which is much more easier. So I'll meet you there. So for row 37, you are going to incorporate your green on the very first green. That's why I have my stitch marker here. So make sure you stop with two loops on the very last um single crochet for the background color so you can now swiftly remove with two loops you just yarn over pull through as i said you have the option to carry this along so that it becomes easier for you so this time i'm going to carry it along so that i show you how exactly it looks so i'm going to make a total of 17 greens so this is the first one carry along this yarn and this make sure you um, make a total of 17 and I'll meet you and show you how to end and then we begin the next row So I'm done with my total of 17. This is the 17th one as usual I have two loops and you can see that even though I carried it along. It's still looking neat so it's fine for you to carry it along for All the rows including the green hat So yarn over pull through with your background color it becomes much more easier and then go ahead and finish off this row i will meet you at row 38 as we are expanding our design so guys for row 38 we are going to incorporate on the second green so i have my stitch marker here already and so i'm going to incorporate my um, color which is the green color on the second green so let me finish off with the light blue this is the last light blue go on top on the next which is the first green and then with two loops you are now going to swiftly shift to your green so yarn over with the green which wasn't cut off from the previous row and pull through so you can now release your stitch marker do your very first single crochet here and then single crochet all the way down you must have a total of 16 so i'll meet you when you're done with your total of 16 and then i'll show you what to do next so now I made my total of 16 and with two loops on my hook, I'm just going to yarn over, pull through. Remember that I carried my blue along here, so it becomes easier for me to switch. So I'm going to single crochet all the way down, chain one, work back for row 39. I'll meet you at row 39 and I'll show you what to do next. For row 39, you are going to incorporate your green on the second. So this is the very first green um, stitch. I finished off my light blue. So insert your hook pull. When you have two on the hook, swiftly shift to your green. So yarn over pull through. It makes it convenient because the green is here. So you just shift it 
and you can now remove your stitch marker and make your very first green on the um, second green from the previous row. So you are going to make a total of 14 greens. So this is the first one. This is the second one. Make your total of 14. I will meet you and then show you what to do. So hooray, I made along with my 14 stitches as usual. I carried this yarn underneath so that it becomes easy for me to switch. So this is my 14th stitch and I have two loops on my hook. I just yarn over with this blue and then pull through all two loops. This time I'm not make sure that you don't carry this along. Just drop it and work your single crochet stitches with your background color um, all the way to the end of the row. Chain one, begin the next row which is row 40 and then i'll show you what to do over there so row 40 for row 40 you are going to incorporate your green on the third green so one two three that's why i place my stitch marker here so i'm going to work your stitches along with the blue so this is the first one i finished off my light blue section this is the first green this is going to be the second this is when you stop with two loops behind and then you incorporate your yarn so you can just simply pull out the yarn from um the green yarn from this direction yarn over and pull through all two loops you can now release your stitch marker with your blue still underneath make sure that you uh, single crochet on top hiding in this so you are going to have a total of 11 single crochets for the green so this is the first one there's a second to so insert your hook with two loops you just yarn over and pull through all two loops drop this make sure it's lying somewhere and work your single crochet stitches to the end of the row chain one and begin your row 41 i'll meet you and show you what to do for the design so guys welcome to row 41 for row 41 we are going to incorporate on the second green this is where i place my stitch marker on the second green so insert your hook pull through this is the last but one green sorry the first green so with the first green you are going to leave two loops on the hook yarn over pull through with the green because you have it here already remove your stitch marker and then make a total of nine greens so this is the first one so one, then to be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the ninth one. Make sure you leave two loops behind. Oh my god, I didn't carry this along. So make sure you leave two loops behind, but you should carry the blue along so that it becomes easier for you to switch. And now continue with your background color. I'll meet you at the end, um, at the middle of row 42. Make sure you end chain one and then work back. Let's continue this hat. So guys, for row two, you are going to incorporate your green on the third one. So I've already placed my stitch marker here. So one, two, three. This is where you are going to incorporate. And as usual, you stop at the last, but one, the one before. So with two loops, so insert pull through when you have two loops, you just swiftly shift to your green and then still having this yarn, this blue yarn underneath, you are going to now get rid of your stitch marker and make a total of five. So still having it underneath so that it becomes very convenient for you to switch. So this is the first one. So two, three, four and then five so with the fifth one we are going to have two loops on the hook you yarn over and put through all two loops now drop the green and then work your stitches without carrying the green along so i'm going to single crochet to the end of the row and then i begin row 43 you know what i do i'm not going to show you this part i'll show you how i'm going to decrease because you are getting to I'm getting very close to the end for row 43 you are going to incorporate your green on the sec um sorry third second green instead so one to place your stitch marker here i'm done with my light blue section so 
as usual you always stop the at the last but one with two loops the last but one stitch um the stitch before this you are going to stop with two loops yarn over pull through with the green which is very convenient for us so now you should have the blue under and then make a total of two single crochets so one and then two with two loops sorry i almost forgot with two loops you just yarn over pull through and then continue your the rest of your rows with your background color let's make sure you single crochet all the way down chain one and then work back again for row 44 and i'll show you what to do so for row 44 you are going to incorporate your green on the very last light blue so i already placed my stitch mark on the very last light blue and you guys know that um, before you incorporate you are going to leave two loops at the last but one to the stitch so the last but one is this one so insert your hook when you have two loops you can now swiftly remove your stitch marker and incorporate your green so you just yarn over and put you all two loops so yarn over put you all two loops and then you are going to do a total of two greens so this is going to be the first one one make sure you have the yarn underneath and then you work your stitches this is going to be the first one so one and then the second one you swiftly shift and then work your stitches all the way down to the end of the row chain one and then we begin row 45 we are almost done with this part and i'm so pretty excited so guys for row 45 you are going to incorporate your green at the last light blue so as usual you make sure that you have two loops at the last but one for the light blue and then you swiftly shift your blue your green towards the side yarn over and pull through all two loops let me get rid of this stitch marker making sure that you have this tagged underneath you are going to do a total of four so one for the greens so one two the third one three the fourth one i'm going to make sure that i have two loops on your hook yarn over with this blue and pull through all two loops now drop your green and you are going to work it with it later so make sure you complete your row chain one and then work back down for row 46 and i'll show you what to do so for row 46 you are going to incorporate your green on the very first green as usual for the light blue you make sure you have when you insert you make sure you have two loops on the hook and then you yarn over with your your green and then put you all two loops let me do that again sorry yarn over put you all two loops and i am going to do a total of four carrying the blue along so insert your hook into the next space just do your first one it's going to be the second so two three and there's the fourth with two loops on the hook yarn over put you two and then complete your row 46 with your single crochets chain one work back forth like work back to the side and let's work row 47 so guys welcome to the very last row for this pattern this is row 47 and this time we are going to incorporate on the second green so let me finish off the light blue And so I'm going to insert my hook, pull through on the very first green, and then I'm going to finish off with by yarning over and pulling through the two loops, and then still carrying this blue along tucked underneath. I make my total of two, so this is going to be the first one. So I'm making the very first one on the second blue, um, sorry, the second green from the previous row. This is going to be the second one so with two loops you yarn over pull through and then drop this off and now you are going to complete your rows so i'm so excited like i hope you like this project i'm going to add one 
regular single crochet row as a border and then i would uh, show you what to do next but all you have to do is to click the eye above or check the description for the part three of this video it was nice working with this pattern let me finish adding the border and let me sh let me let me give you some small information don't so this is the final look after weaving in all the excess yarns i so much appreciate all your support thank you so much for watching to the end please check the description for um the link to part three i'll be doing a lot of um I'll be doing a lot of styles with this pattern. So for some time now, I'll be doing snowflake patterns, like patterns with this graph gun. So don't miss out. And my giveaway will be very soon. Um, just check the description for all extra information. And also, please don't skip the ads. I get some few cents um, to help support the brand. Thank you so much. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.